Hi everyone, on journal page, I'm working in this uh, journal I made from boring and ugly 12 by 12. Just folded each page in half and glued them back to back. I'm going to start with some uh, yellow acrylic paint and maybe some cream color. That's going to be my first layer. I'm not sure if <laughs> I know I want to do uh, some kind of background with uh, stencilings and mandala, but uh, I'm not sure what uh, where it's going to go. I just know that I want to start with something <laughs> and bright colors, and I'm using a sponge to just go around and I'm switching between the yellow and the cream so I will get variation in the color and not one solid color now I will need to put a lot more paint the sponge is taking a lot of the paint inside so more paint it is and this is just regular sponge I just tore a, a just a piece of it and I'm trying to just move it around so I won't get the same pattern over and over again I want it an interesting background of course you can have an interesting back background with a repetitive pattern but that's not what I'm going for uh, today It needs to seem random and I need more paint okay like if I have too much yellow here then I will just go and add more of the cream color and I'm leaving I'm not covering the whole page I've got the the page is already in some kind of off-white color so I don't need to cover everything I just need to have some um, something interesting as a start for my background yeah and just trying not to have solid color so I keep dabbing at it until I'm satisfied with what I've got. Okay, now it seems nice and I'm going to let this dry and I'll come back. I'm back. So this is dry and I want to build up layers of details, interest, color. I want to go from yellow to very bright red and dark red and then I want to do some contrast so we are going to have lots and lots of a uh, layers here and I'm going to take this a uh, fossilized amber distress ink and I want to stamp on my page now I don't know how it will show I'm going to try it and the thing is that I want it subtle, I don't want it to stand out. And I really like it, so it, it's here, you can see it, but it, it's just going to be part of the background. I'm going to stamp this all over quite randomly. It's just building up a background like so now I'm uh, going to uh, add more details I've got uh, these two uh, stencils and I'm moving to this uh, color this is spiced marmalade and again I just want it to be in the background so I'm going to try and do it with this brush because again I want it subtle I don't want it to steal the show let's say. 
put it this way. So I'm trying to be gentle and so it will be seen but not uh, be too much. Here it is. Okay, so I'm satisfied. It worked. That's what I wanted. Going for the next one here. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just playing with it. Yeah. Let's move to the next one. I'm thinking just adding a little bit more like here. Maybe just the center here. Yeah. I'm really liking how it's starting to come. Okay, next phase. <laughs> okay, so uh, now I think I'm going to graduate to red. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I'm going to be brave. And I don't know. I'm going to try and use this uh, pink raspberry because on on top of this yellow it will probably go orangey if not then I will go over it with the red and let's see maybe some stamping again I've got this stamp and let's see again I'm treating all of this as a background and I'm going to uh, overlap things like this yeah Okay, let's see. Just having fun with it. Not overthinking. Okay, and maybe just a pick here. Okay, I like it. And... I'm going to try and do again more of this stenciling, I, only now I'm going to use this red. This is barn door and it's going on top of other stuff. So let's see, <laughs> maybe I'm going to ruin everything, I don't know. Okay, I like it. I'm going with it. <laughs> Oopsie. It moved. Yeah. Okay, so moving uh, forward, I'm thinking I'm going to use just a little bit more. And let's see. Again, I'm going again and again to the same two stencils, and I'm just layering. And now I think I'm going to add this seedless preserve again. <laughs> I hope I'm not ringing gently okay maybe I'll just keep it to the corners
okay so now I've got this and I still want a little bit something <laughs> else let's see I need more orange here so I'm going to take this acrylic paint and no not here I'm going to take some a craft foam I'm gonna put some orange here and a brayer and now I'm going to use another a stamp this one let's hope it will work okay now I've got more orangey stamp here that's what I'm talking about again quite random I'm stamping It just takes, uh, it's better to do acrylic paint on a craft foam uh, for stamping like that. And let's put it here. And I think just one more. And yes, that's what I was going for. And now cleaning fast before acrylic paint will dry on your stamp and then it's ruined okay so i've got my orangey a uh, background yellow orange red and now i want to do some man big mandala here and i've got some new stencils that i bought but I can't decide what to use. Any, any, any more, whatever. I'm going for this one. Yeah. So, another stencil from AliExpress. And I'm placing it here. And now I'm going for the contrast that I talked about. Uh, at the beginning I'm going for this light mint color with this a uh, turquoise I'm gonna put it here okay maybe just maybe I will go even darker and yeah let's go and put some oxide green here and I'm taking another sponge this uh, this sponge now I want something that is more a little bit more condensed than this with all the holes and I don't quite want a makeup sponge that is really condensed so this is something in between that I've picked up at the chip store and Let's hope it will work. If not, I will switch to a makeup sponge. So I'm starting with this light mint. I'm dabbing excess because I don't want a spillage. And I'm starting to dab. I'm starting with the lighter color here in the middle. Now I'm trying to make it go into all this uh, detail I have in the stencil but I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want a spillage and it's better to be patient about it instead of uh, creating some spillage underneath. Okay, moving to a the next color the turquoise 
and I'm overlapping so they will mix and I won't have harsh a harsh line between the two colors of course I could ho also have mixed them here on my palette and I can also go again with the mint and dab again if I feel it's not blended enough then I can always go back and I can also wait for everything to dry and go over everything. You can even change color if you don't like it. Just wait for it to dry. Go over it with gesso and completely change the color. Nothing is irreversible. You can do whatever you want. You don't like what uh, turned out, just change it. So I'm continuing uh, dabbing the turquoise here and towards the outside I will change to the oxide green. So it's going to take some time and I'll be back. Okay so here it is, I finished stenciling, I'm really liking what's going on here. Uh, the only thing I'm doing now is taking a makeup sponge with the left uh, of the turquoise color and I'm just going around my page over the edges like so just to frame everything in and so the the mandala won't be the only thing on this page with this color I think it will uh, just be a nice add like so and I wasn't planning on any focal point you can uh, well you can say that the mandala itself is the focal point and when I'm I finished I thought about putting some orange butterfly here in the middle but I'm not sure about it so I'm just going to leave it be right now maybe later <laughs> in a later date I will find the ultimate <laughs> orange butterfly and then it will go on the page right now I'm just leaving it be I really like it because it turned out like I imagined it that's what I wanted all these colors in the back and then the turquoise mandala in the middle so this is it I hope you try and build up some layers if it's with stencils if it's with uh, stamping and try uh, all kinds of different sponges and this is it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now